Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another 5 minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that uh, we are working our way through the Advancement book. Uh, this episode's a little bit of a special episode, though. We are not going to do anything in the Advancement book. We're actually going to work on uh, improving our storage situation. Now, last regular episode, we built ourselves some of these wooden crates. Uh, what I want to do is I want to set up a nifty little storage system uh, that's a little bit better than these uh, cabinets. Now, these cabinets are really, really good, uh, but they are very, very manual. Uh, what we want to do is we want to set up a little bit more of a uh, automatic storage system, uh, but still fairly early game. Uh, you know, we're not going to get into any of the, uh, I think it's the ME or uh, any of the more complex storage systems. Uh, but first off, we're going to set up our actual collection system. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a chest. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a hop and bonsai on top of that chest. We're going to fill it with some fertile soil and we're going to put an iron sapling into that chest. So uh, just like our uh, cabinets over here with the hop hopping bonsais on top, we have a, a chest that could be collecting items for us and now we've got to kind of come up with a way of uh, sorting them out uh, a little bit more automatically than uh, what we were doing with the cabinet. So what I've got is I've got some wooden crates and you can set this up any way that you want in your world, any way that's going to make sense. For demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, it's going to depend on what you want to collect in the system. Uh, that's how many uh, wooden crates that you're going to need uh, to do that. So uh, I've got six out here. What we need is a way to get items from the chest over into our storage system. And to do that, we're going to need something called an item transfer cable. Now, I've done these in uh, other episodes, but uh, to make some item cables, you need four brick stairs and four iron nuggets. We're going to take both of those out because we're going to need a bunch of them. Uh, we're also going to need a bunch of item extraction cables. Now, uh, to make an item extraction cable, it is going to be a dropper, a weighted pressure plate, and four iron nuggets. Now we're going to take these items over here and we're going to come up and we're going to put these cables in the back just to kind of clean stuff up. So uh, first off, if we open up this chest, you can see we've got a bunch of items here. Uh, but before we actually go and lay out these pipes, there's one other thing I forgot to grab. Uh, what we need is a crate key. Now this is going to allow us to lock uh, a crate to a particular item. So even if you take that l uh, last item out of that crate, it will still stay uh, the same uh, item. So to make a crate key it is simply a wooden crate uh, with three pieces of iron in a crafting table so we're going to take that out and before we do anything let's go in here and we're going to go we'll put a, a piece of resin we're going to grab a piece of wood we're going to grab that acorn we're going to grab a sapling that's going to be uh, important um, let me throw that up we're going to need sticks and then we're also going to need some iron leaves we go throw one there. Let's just go pop that book out. So what we're going to do first off uh, before we do anything else is we're going to take that uh, iron uh, acorn. We're going to put it in that chest. We're going to put the resin. Uh, let's put the leaves and the sapling. And then over here, we're going to put the wood and the sticks. So uh, this, these crates will now only accept these items. But if I was going to go and take them out, that crate's now empty. So I don't want that. I want that to stay acorns. Otherwise, if I pull... Uh, everything out, uh, it's going to fill it with something else. So taking the key, I'm going to right click. You can see it is locked, locked, oh, locked, 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 and locked. Now, if I go and I take that acorn out, you can see it still stays as an acorn. So we're going to place that back in there. We're going to take our uh, first item extraction cable and we're going to come off the side here. We're going to place this down. And again, this really depends how you want to do it. I'm keeping this level and horizontal just for the simplicity's sake. But we're going to come out and we are going to place all of these item cables all the way back down to the end here. As you can see, these are filling up with these items. Now, there is one problem with this uh, setup. Not every item is going to turn and go into the correct box. So uh, we can see here, maybe we've got, okay, right now everything is looking good, but at some point this is going to become a problem. It, it may get jammed up. It's something you can kind of check on. There are a few tricks uh, that we're going to work on at another time uh, to kind of make this work a little bit better. But uh, getting these items set up in your world is all well and good. Uh, one thing I want to do now is set up a... I guess an automatic way of 
you know, in, for instance, we've got a, an iron sapling here. It produces the iron acorns and the uh, iron resin. What we want to do is we want to take those two items, combine them together and make some uh, iron amber other than, you know, ourselves going out and doing that manually. To do that, we're going to need something called an auto crafter. Now, to make an auto crafter, we're going to need to craft ourselves a couple of uh, different items. Uh, first off is we're going to need four pieces of purple dye. Uh, to make purple dye, it is simply some red dye and some lapis lazuli. Uh, there's a couple other combinations as well, but these are the, you know, the most simple to get in our world. So why don't we take these four pieces of dye, we're going to come over here and we're going to pre-place them uh, in the crafting table. Now what we're trying to make here is the auto crafter. To finish it off, we're going to need an observer. To make the observer, we're going to need a piece of quartz. Now, to get quartz in this world, uh, there are a couple of different ways. Uh, the I think the simplest way is to make ourselves a nether rack tree. Now, to make a, a nether rack a sapling, we are first going to need a, a piece of nether rack. To make nether rack in Sky Factory 4, it is a, simply a redstone amber, which is a nine pieces of redstone resin. We're going to take that, we're going to place it in a casting basin. We've got a, a seared tank full of lava. We're just going to right click on that. It's going to combine the lava with the uh, redstone, um, with the redstone amber. And this is going to make ourselves a piece of a netherrack. So as soon as that is done, there we go. We've now got our piece of netherrack. We're going to take that netherrack. We're going to place it in a crafting table with a redstone sapling, two diamond resin, and a gold resin. That gets us a netherrack sapling. So uh, to make things nice and simple and hopefully really, really quick, we're going to place that down. We're going to twerk it up and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will not take too long. There we go. We're going to go and collect those leaves. And while we are at it, there we go. Look at that. We got our piece of red or our piece of nether quartz right away. I was a little worried it was going to take a couple of times to do that, but because uh, it is not as good as an actual quartz tree, it is it's just simpler uh, to make than the actual quartz tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and uh, we are going to need, and I did not actually get it set up. We're going to need to make ourselves an observer uh, we, to do that, we're going to need, uh, three more pieces of cobblestone. So give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I went, I grabbed a little bit more cobblestone. I feel really silly not getting that all set up, but uh, to make an observer, it is that piece of nether quartz, two pieces of redstone, and six cobblestone. We're going to take the observer, we're going to come over here, we're going to place it in a crafting station, and that gets us our auto crafter. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come out here, and again, I hate how this looks, but for demonstrations purposes, this is probably the uh, best way of doing it. And why don't we jump up here, and we're just going to go one uh this actually should be enough space so we're going to go place that there and let's take that wood out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up uh as you see there are a couple of different inventories we've got an input inventory we've got an output inventory and in the middle here is the crafting recipe so what we want to do is we want to go one two three four and then one two three four five we're going to come back up here we'll go one two three four and where did that resin go one two three four five now this is the crafting recipe that the auto crafter will perform once it has enough resources uh, in it and once it has enough power. So uh, getting the resources up there is quite simple. We're going to take the item extraction cables. We're going to go and place them on top. And there you go. You see, these items are now feeding into the auto crafter. So as you can see, we've got 50 iron acorns, 37 iron resin in there. All it's waiting for is a little bit of power. Now, uh, to make a little bit of power, we're going to need some sort of generator. Now, I've previously done the geothermal generator on a previous five minute video. Uh, what I want to do today is just the simple combustion generator. That, that way we can just burn uh, some excess stuff we've got, like sticks, like wood, uh, and just convert that into energy. So uh, to make the uh, simple geothermal generator, generator it is simply a block of redstone a furnace three pieces of iron and four smooth stone uh, now we get to get the power from the simple combustion generator over to the auto uh, crafter. Uh, now to do that, we could put it right next to the auto crafter or depending on where your generator is in the world, you could use some uh, energy extraction cables. Now uh, to make some energy extraction cables, they are simply a, a dropper in a crafting table with a weighted pressure plate and four pieces of redstone. We're also going to need some actual energy cables uh, to make the energy cables. It is four pieces of redstone and four brick stairs. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the simple combustion generator, we're gonna come over here and why don't we place it, we'll place it three in because these are gonna be our, you know, good sources of fuel. Uh, you can even go and set up a, you know, proper furnace and start turning uh, this wood into charcoal uh, before you feed into the simple combustion generator. But uh, for demonstration purposes, I think it will work fine for us. So we're gonna take, why don't we take that item extraction cable, we're gonna place it right next to the wood. Uh, one thing you gotta be aware of, uh, uh, you cannot feed fuel into the simple combustion generator from the bottom. That's why I put it over one. Uh, so the, it comes up and into the side. It does not come up into the bottom. Uh, otherwise, it just won't fill it. But as you can see, it is uh, turning that wood into power. That power is filling up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And why don't we go? We're going to take the energy extraction cable. We're going to place it down and we're going to come over one two and if we go and check uh there you go you see there's a power in the system all it's doing now is waiting for a little bit of iron resin uh, to finish off this iron amber. So it builds them really, really quick. Basically, as soon as it's got enough resources, it will convert that over into iron amber. Uh, we could now use some more cables to go and feed that into like a uh, a melter or a furnace and then, you know, automate that as well. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, check out the description below there is a link to my discord page i would love if you guys stop by to say hi but that is it i will see you guys next time goodbye